Oh, that looks pretty. Hopefully it was looking like this when I was shooting and it just wasn't plugged in, which usually makes things darker. Back again, <laughs> because my camera just stopped and it turns out that the plug for my computer wasn't all the way in and I guess it just spoke to the camera and when I started it up again I thought, oh well the color looks different this time and it's all about the color. I am here about the color, you guys. So, this is going to be my intro. <laughs> Today, I am bringing to you some new to me products from Jones Road. I've already done a video from Jones Road, at least one, and maybe two. And I'll put it right up here. So I'm using some products that I already have and a couple of new products, which I'm actually gonna walk you through in the body, but I wanted to show you the final look with, I think, pretty good color. Uh, yeah, and stay to the very end because I forgot about the bronzer until I done my intro, so then I redid that, and it's, I don't know how I'm gonna cut this together, but uh, this is the final look. That's what matters, this is the final look, and it's just a spring, almost no makeup makeup look, minimal makeup look, super, super easy to do. In fact, I made it go longer because we did a little story time and I talked a little bit about succession. It is Wednesday and this video is for sure going to go up before Sunday and I have my thoughts. And I'd like to hear from you after you watch the whole video. Do you like me talking about this kind of stuff? Because I watch a lot and I have thoughts, and I, I, be, I think it might be fun to share them, but not everybody's into movies or series. Serieses? And I, yeah, let me know, let me know. Maybe that could, could be a thing once a week, what I'm watching as I'm doing my makeup, or twice a month, or once a month, I don't know. All right, so let's just, <laughs> so typical of me, let's stop with this and go into the body of the video. Okay, so two things. One, I'm wearing my crested white strips. And so I'm gonna be listening for a little while, but I didn't wanna wait any longer. I'm just sitting here, my sunscreen's ready to go. And I thought, oh, I have to wait for 20 more minutes for this? So no, I'm not. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it off later, but I uh, wanted to get started. The Jones Road, what the foundation. You've seen me use this before, I love it. I still love it. I was going to try my green corrector underneath it to see how those work together, but I'm not that uh, red today, surprisingly. And I thought we might do something a little bit different. I don't know if this is going to work because I'm not talking about this product since I have before. I post that video right here. And I wanted to talk about what I'm watching because I watch a lot. And again, taking a little bit, rub it between both fingers. I'm watching Succession. Let's talk about Succession. So we're going to do talk about the makeup a little bit, and then we're going to talk about this. So it might be a little weird because I am that person who a thought comes through my head and then I forget what I was talking about. But we're going to try, and I'll take this off too. I wanted to do a fresh spring look, and. When I woke up yesterday, it had been raining, and then it did sprinkle at the prettiest, lightest little, it looked like snow almost, kind of sprinkle. And today, same thing. I'm kind of shocked because it was not in the weather. The weather report, that is. So, you know, I put on a springy top, and I'm, I'm trying to do it. Believe me, I am not complaining. I love this kind of weather. I love it. I know it can be a little too much, I was in Canada for five months once. I think I was there from July through December. September was the last time I saw the sun, and it really does have an effect on you. But um, I'm fine with this, totally fine. New products to me. This is a fairly new color for them, and my magnifying glass is not in here. So I'll post the name right here. And you can see I've already broken into this. So I'm just going to 
do a little more breaking in, my favorite way to use the Miracle Balm is to just rub it between my fingers like so. And I don't have to wait for the foundation to set up with this product. The other color I have is Tawny, and I love it because it, it gives me a little bit of a sunburned kind of look, and this one is more like a blush color. For me, this is the blush. But they did send me a blush, but I'm going to use that on my lips. And I'll maybe just a little bit up here, not too much. I am going to go in with the bronzer, but I'll have to powder my face first. So we're going to go in with eyes before we continue on. But look at this color. To me, perfection, happy, glowy. Doesn't really look like makeup, but obviously it is because I don't really blush in this color. This is about as warm as I want to get. I don't like oranges on my face, but it's not orange. It's, I would say it's coral. There's pink in here. It is dark, it is raining, so it may not look exactly like what it looks, but I'm looking at my mirror here, and what I'm seeing in the monitor is the same. Beautiful, beautiful color, and I'm really thrilled to have this. I asked if they could send me some things, and they sent me four products, but I got this package maybe a week ago, and I just hadn't had the opportunity to shoot it because other things came up that I haven't edited yet. And I'm not sure if they only sent me four things. They could have sent me something else, but this is what I found. In other words, when I open things, they stay in one room, and then they move into here, and then I might do something in the bathroom. And I think this is what I have. I got the Just a Sec. These are really, really pretty eyeshadows that I use with my fingers. I've worn them a couple of times. The dark one, I'll put the color down here and the light one. So the light one I'm going to put all over the lid with my finger. I'm not prepping my eyes, nothing. So anyway, this is what I think is going to happen, you guys. <laughs> I think it's going to Kendall, and I think the reason it's going to Kendall is because the producer says ever so slightly, subtly, have shown us in the last few episodes that he's turning into his father and that has happened in the scenes with his ex-wife. When he said the week before last, he said, everything I do is for these kids. Everything, they mean everything to me. And I thought, huh, where have I heard that before? From the dad who says everything's for him, for them, but he is a horrible dad, and absentee, and all of that stuff. And I, I remember thinking at that moment, hmm, We've heard that before, and then last Sunday's episode brought it home for me when she was freaked out about the rioting going on in New York and said, I, I'm taking the kids upstate, I'm not bringing them to the funeral. Now, I get her point of view. She was afraid, and their daughter is afraid, which he knows. And he told his assistant, Yet he's going to call, he wants her to uh, contact some family lawyers and he's going to sue for custody, which I'm pretty sure is what his dad did. Because the kids ended up with the dad. And I remember the mother saying, I stayed in New York to be with you guys, but you were never with us or with me. I don't, I don't remember exactly, I just remember her saying. I'm just using this dark color on the end to give me a little bit of depth. But I think this darker color, and I'll swatch it when I'm done, will easily be a one and done. And I think this could easily be a one and done. Now, if you're hooded, like me, I feel pretty uncomfortable having something light and shiny up here because it emphasizes the hood. But if you're not, all over. And if you are, just on the mobile lid. I'm going to just bring a little bit of this up here because I went a little too high on that side. There. So you can make this look big, you can make this look small, it doesn't matter. I can't really tell what this is. It's not a powder. It kind of reminds me of, but it's not exactly like, the ColourPop. So there's that color. And here is the light color. And you can see that it changes as I move. See how it turns darker 
this way. Super fantastic. Now, as I said, they just came out with a powder, but I didn't know that, otherwise I would have asked for it. So I'm going in with my By Terry powder, and this is the Hyaluronic powder, the Hyper Powder. I got this uh, on sale, in a Derm Store sale recently, and I knew mine was definitely going to be over soon. I use so little of this, but I use it every single day that it lasts me for years. And I just want a powder where I'm going to put some bronzer because the bronzer is a powder. And this foundation, if you haven't seen my original video, looks better over time. But it can be kind of shiny. So for me, really need some powder. Do you know I forgot to do my under eyes? <laughs> okay, under eyes. I've been loving this. I use this almost every day, and it has skincare in it, but check out how it lightens everything up. I'm gonna use my fingers. So this is what I think should happen. <laughs> I was talking to Tamara the other day, and I said, I think Roman should be institutionalized. This is a guy who has deep problems, and if he wasn't filthy rich, nobody would touch him with a 10-foot pole. The only reason people talk to him is because he's insanely rich and because he's an heir to this fortune. But he makes very poor decisions, and Kendall's made poor decisions as well, as has Shiv. Shiv makes emotional decisions when she's mad. You know, the whole reason they went back on the deal buying this other company, I can't remember what it's called, but the other uh, TV, the other news company, is because her dad had advised Tom that if he calls all these divorce attorneys as an inquiry, it means that they can't work for her. And she was pissed at him, and she decided, well, I'm going to screw up this deal. And then as it, en as it ended up, that deal, God, I don't know what happened to that deal, actually. Oh, you know what it was? It was the deal with Matson, where she said, I think we can get more money. Let's go back. And Kendall thought it was a stupid decision, and it was because it was totally personal. She was just angry, and she wanted to screw over her dad. And then Kendall saw some numbers that made him think, um, you know what, maybe we can do that. Because I'm doing such light coverage, I'm just going to use that. I'm just going to use that for my under eyes and do a teeny bit of powdering because it does offer a little bit of coverage or certainly the color for me removes that darkness and that's all I need because the foundation is light coverage, right? Okay, so yes, it's not the first time. I can't think of other times. I'm going to take this off. Ta-da! You have to do it a couple of days. So when I first got this, uh, these Crest Wide Strips, it was probably two years ago, and I did it exactly as directed, which I believe was every day for maybe 10 days. And then they said, you know, do it a couple times a month. I don't remember the directions. And I basically don't, because it doesn't really fit in with my morning program for some reason. Because by the time I think, oh, I should do this, <laughs> I'm ready to shoot. So I decided to leave them on today. But here's our look so far. I think I got too much on this side. I'm just going to go in with my finger and help that out a little bit. I'm going to go in with my brows. I may as well show you everything. I am loving this brow pencil. I do not know what the color is because they sent me two. So you get this and then you get the cartridge. And they sent me two cartridges, and I don't know where the color is, but it reminds me of my Dior, which you never see me use. This has more grip to it, so I actually see this when... I, it's hard to explain, but I see what I'm doing. I can see it show up, where the one from Dior, I don't really see it. Maybe it's the formula, maybe it's the color. But I'm just going to do little teeny brow strokes. Anyway, now that Shiv's pregnant, and this kind of bothers me, I feel like the producers are just going to go with, well, she's going to be a mom now, so she's out of the picture. 
which is totally rude. Another thing, that Mencken guy, in his talk with them, she said something along the lines, our viewers love you. And he said, and I love your viewers. And it occurred to me as he said that, he does love the viewers. And he knows that if Shiv becomes the CEO, the viewers might not be there anymore because she's liberal and she might make changes. And when Matson called and said, it's a go, and I think we'll be able to swing an American CEO. She didn't say, and I hope that CEO is me, because I think it's Kendall. So that's what I think is going to happen. Also, I have to say, I saw an interview or a clip or something with the actor who plays Kendall, and he said, I'm happy with the show ending now because my character has done his arc. He's done his emotional story. And remember, we opened with him. And I don't think we met Shiv on the first episode. Maybe we did, but we opened with him. So it's really kind of his story, I think. Those are my thoughts on that. So we'll see. But those are my thoughts, and let's put some money on it. <laughs> I don't have her mascara, but again, since the look is really soft, I kind of, this is my go-to, the Charlotte Tilbury in Dream, I think it's Dream Pop, which is just a brown, and I mentioned this in another video. I recently had a bloodshot eye really, really bad, and I don't think it was from makeup, but I'm not quite ready to line. I think I might have gotten skin care in my eye, like I might have gotten retin in my eye or something, and I'm feeling kind of cautious. So there, just mascara, no liner, some brows, some eyeshadow. I love these eyeshadow colors. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out on camera because the light is, well, there is no light. <laughs> there is no light. You know what? I'm going to take this and just go like that because I don't want that shimmer really high. And I just can't tell if I'm even or not. I don't think I am. Um, boom, 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 boom. And then the other thing that they sent me is a blush stick. And this color, super, super pretty, like yay, but I already did blush. I feel like this is my blush. So I tried this on my lips, and you know what? I really like it. A cream is a cream, you know? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I like this look a lot on the lips. I think I used to have a color like this in my 20s. It's very similar to my natural lip color. Like many people, my lip color when I wake up is different than it is later on in the day. They can get quite a lot of color, but they can also be quite pale. And this is kind of like my lips in the pale zone. And I really, really dig it. Okay, so that's it. Let's talk about the four new products to me. This is a blush, but I really, really like this as my blush. I don't want to do something, this is a little bit bluish, but I like this on my lips quite a bit. And again, here is the color. Really, so many skin tones are going to love that color. So these two on the face, and then these two on the eyes. And I love these. You can use them with a brush. I have since I've had them for about a week. I've played with them a little bit, but I just love the fact that I can go boop, boop, boop with my fingers and really get a lovely springy look. So let's just take down the hair, which smells fabulous because I'm wearing that Kerastas, um, I can't remember what it's called. I'll link it down below, but I do this maybe once a month now because I'm doing the K18 so much, but it just smells insane. But now you can't see my beautiful shirt. <laughs> okay, happy spring look on a rainy spring day, and I love it. It just doesn't look super makeup y to me. It just looks fresh, which is a word I say a lot. I hope you're not tired of it. 
And since we are coming near the end, I will put this on my cheeks just so you can see what this looks like on the cheeks. I'll pick it up with my fingers. And of course, you know what I think about succession. Without and with. I do not mind either way. It's interesting how a cool color and a warm color can absolutely work together. All right, you guys, I want to hear down below, what's your weather like? <laughs> Is it spring pretending to be fall? And what do you think? If you're watching Succession, what do you think is going to happen? Me? What I'd like to see is Roman institutionalized because he has got issues. He is, he's the kind of guy, he, you know, pass me blah, blah, blah. It would be pass me the fucking salt. And when you did, he would say, fuck you. He's just rude. He's impulsive and he's messed up beyond belief. And I hate him. And when he started crying at the funeral, I did not feel bad for him because I guess the producers were working this up, him being worse and worse and worse. So when he falls, there's a bit of satisfaction. For me, I was totally satisfied. Shiv, they knocked her up, so now she's gonna go be a mommy, which is a little bit sexist, but I think they're going that way. Remember, it's a British show. And the British sensibility is different than American sensibility. And it's very different when it comes to films. British filmmakers are not afraid of having an ending to a movie or a series that isn't satisfying. They're not afraid of doing that. In the United States, independent films will do that, but basically when you're making a movie with a studio and you end with something sad, but it's not sad like uh, out of Africa sad, you know, it's just not satisfying. They don't like to do that because the first 10 minutes of a script is the most important because you need to grab the person who's reading it. But the most important thing of a film is the last 10 minutes. And if it doesn't satisfy the viewer, they're not going to have word of mouth. I love this movie, blah, blah, blah. They're not going to get good reviews. It's not going to do well. For streaming, it's a little bit different. It's a totally different kind of thing, although HBO does installments where Netflix does everything at one time, people do talk about this and people will watch it. But the truth is, if they don't give a satisfactory ending, an ending where you feel sated, it doesn't matter because everyone came to watch that ending. It's a different, it's a, it's a different pay, how do I say this? Words can be hard for me. I know the word, but I can't think of it right now. Um, but it's a different system for television, completely. As you know, cliffhangers used to be, if you're my age, cliffhangers used to be incredibly important. And, I'll, and when I say satisfactory ending, I just want to say, what was that? Something, Daisy Jones and blah, blah, blah. I can't remember what it was. And I was really not liking the main character, but I kept on watching, I kept on watching. And if you've seen it, you know, the ending was so satisfying that it made up for all the times where I thought, why is this our heroine? Not heroine, our heroine? Heroine. Um, because she's kind of horrible. But the ending made up for everything. And that's what I mean. You just get an ending that's like, wow. I'm not sure if I'm going to get that. So we shall see you guys, and this is my look, and I hope you like it. I love it. Love, love, love. And um, thanks for checking in with me. Thanks for spending time with me. I really appreciate it. I hope it was helpful, and I hope you come back again. Until we meet again, be safe and smart, and I'm wishing you good health. And a happy spring. Oh my god, you guys, I'm just sitting here posing for my thumbnail, and it, it's occurred to me I forgot to do the bronzer, so, oh my goodness, I have two bronzer colors, this is a little more pink, this is a little bit more warm, I think I'm just going to kind of dip into both of them, actually. Really subtle. Put a little down here. 
There we go. Okay, now we're done. And now uh, I'm going back into my outro, which I've already shot.